I would argue that Apple's advertising is effective and that the Android or whatever that stuff isn't at all, to be honest. I mean, maybe. Why? It's not, well, it doesn't work on me. I know I can say at least that much. They don't do anything for me. This thing, I don't know. I don't understand advertising, honestly. I mean, I don't know how the fuck they work. I, of course, everyone's gonna deny it works on them. Like, I'm gonna say this isn't influencing me, but mm -hmm. look at the fucking, like, isn't that old saying? It's like, follow the money or whatever? Like, these work. They use them and I don't know right. how they work, but they fucking work. This film explores the way advertisements affect their viewers. Advertisements are constructed to get something from this viewer, and in that way, they implicitly identify, define, and speak not to anyone or everyone, but to the specific person watching the ad. I explore the sense of subject that is created by various television commercials, and how they interact with the viewer's sense of self. More broadly, I explore and question how viewers feel when their sense of subject that is portrayed by an ad differs from their sense of self, and how they feel when the sense of subject that is portrayed by an ad is in alignment with their sense of self. It's their attempt to be, it's their attempt to connect with, with me, but it's not even on a level that, that makes any sense. Either subconsciously or consciously trick me into buying it or make me feel that I want to buy it or at least make me aware that I want to buy something in some way, but... I mean, all ads I know, every person knows that an ad is trying to get you to buy something. I saw an iPhone ad one time that, it might have been advertising FaceTime for the first iPhone 4, was mm -hmm. that it? Let me see. And I think it showed, like, a father being able to see the delivery of his child in some fucking... Yeah, in some, you know, operation room because he had FaceTime. Thank God for FaceTime, even though it doesn't work very well. How does it feel being a grandfather? Incredible. How does it feel being a father? It feels pretty great. I mean, what am I supposed to say? It's heartwarming. It's heartwarming. It's, it's just really this inflated sense of what people do this with technology. Because when you, when you think of what I do with an iPhone, first thought is, okay, I'm going to watch YouTube, I'm going to... Um, play Angry Birds, I'm gonna text my friends, not I'm going to share the sublime moment of my daughter with, you know, my beautiful, you know, ethnic father. I mean, I think it's bad, I think he's like, I, I, if, the, if you're trying to do like a really sweet ad, like the Google Paris wedding ad, that one, that, so that's, that's what you're trying to get at. I mean, make me feel fuzzy and then make me feel like fucking pissed off that they're trying to sell me shit with this bullshit, like trying to, Fuck with me. I, I hate that. I hate that so much. Terrible. Oh wow. Um, that is something special. Selling with what Droid is selling um, when they're selling that is they're not selling the phone in the same way that um, a lot of the iPhone commercials aren't selling the phone. They're selling um, an image. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> At least it's like honest that like I don't know. It's like fucking like the worst part of Transformers would be like when they're trying to do like Shia doing some like, you know, emotional like breakdown scene or something. And the best part is like when shit's exploding. So like, if they're gonna like tell me, I mean, this is close. If, if they just went a little bit further the other direction, it could be like an Old Spice commercial where they're like, like, like making fun of the yeah. idea of advertising. With Appreciate Apple more because of their ads, because like, 
like, it seems like they're, I don't think they're being honest, but it seems like they're, like, trying to be honest or something more. But Apple, it's like, they want to kind of show it to you. I'm sure it is a simulated image, but they, like, you know, they show it functionally. Yeah, in front so of they you. let it, it seem like there's a lot of smoke and mirrors, and that's just another... You get the feeling that Apple is being honest, where the other one is just being ridiculous. What's great about the iPhone? One of my favorite that if you want to check snow conditions on the mountain. Otherwise, because the way I'm saying, the, with, the fa with all the FaceTime ads and even with the uh, even the automatic PC ads, it's kind of a flavor experience. Like, this isn't. This is There's very real. So if you get an iPhone, these are things that you are going to do. Always. And if you want to check where exactly you parked the car, there's even an app for that. Yep. Just the hand doing it, that's what's so great about the advertisement, it's just the hand, it's like your hand, you know, it, it's just, it's simpler, and it's like, it's putting you in that position, it's showing other people interacting with something and making you want it, you know, whereas the droid thing doesn't communicate that. Okay. I want to be doing what the hand is doing, and I can be doing what the hand is doing, because it's just a fucking hand, I don't know, you know. It could be your hand. Yeah, it could be my And maybe that's simplistic. Uh, You're, this isn't how you would convince your dad to go buy something. You would be like... Here's like a good product. You could use it for this and this reason. Well, like no, someone this who does. really cared about me would would like show me and like tell me. It's it's not just that Top being sold for. something is bad. It's just that trying to like trick me is fucked up.